Hello everyone, this is Ben, and welcome to another episode of Timber and Stone! And as you can see here, I've made quite a bit of progress since last time. Um, the biggest change, you'll notice, is obviously the construction of the, the hall, or keep. Um, that's, that sucker's... Uh, the roof design, I'm not totally sure about. It didn't come out exactly how I was imagining. Um, but let's drill on down. There we go, there's the first floor as it was. I uh, added a flight of stairs. And we have an upstairs now. And you can also see I added wall sconces for light. Ooh. It's so lovely. So, yeah, that's down there. Oh, it looks like he still hasn't built one. I'm not sure why the construction on some of those is halt not finished. But, uh, anyway. So upstairs here, we've, we have an upstairs. And I've got a little bit of set of stairs that go to the roof as well. But this is intended to be, uh, like, for beds and stuff. If I ever get the, uh materials required for beds, I would give everyone a bed. I really would. I'm not mean like that. So you can see there's the roof, and there's a little access stairway here for in the event of a really horrible siege. Uh, if the enemy breaches the outer wall, they, well, I mean, they don't have glass for the windows. So really, it's no use at all. <laughs> the enemies will just walk right through the windows. But pretending that those were actually functional windows, um, they could get to the roof to defend defend themselves. Um, and oh, over here, this final turret, I did complete. Whoa, too, too far out. Um, and you can see I added a lamp on the top of it. Uh, I finally got some lighting here. Lamp there, lamp over on this side. Uh, I didn't put one in the middle yet, but I got a lamp over on that one, that end as well. Um, so my, my herder here, uh, Morgane was quite busy. I think I slaughtered every sheep on the, this side of the map. Oh, and I, I got a new guy here. I think this is the new guy. Christopher Marav Maravel. He's my forager. Level level five. He's lazy and a quick learner. Great. That's not the button I wanted to hit. Um, so, oh, there's one sheep left over here. But yeah, I went and herded and then slaughtered all of the all of the animals that I could find. Um, and then it looks like it's actually just, yeah, late afternoon getting to be dark. We still have our unbelievable horde of skeletons over here. And some of these guys are just stuck standing on the water. That's some kind of weird bug, I'm not sure. But uh, two, what's it, necromancers, whatever here. Dead skeleton. Skeletons killing goblins. Oh. It's mayhem over here. That is a huge number of skeletons. I honestly, I'm really not sure how I'm ever going to take this island. Uh, the original plan when there was a cup, like one, there was a goblin camp over here. And you can see what happened to that <laughs> when the necromancers showed up. So there's a total of three necromancers over here spawning skeletons. Oh, getting darker. Getting darker. So yeah, I'm not really sure about taking that island at any point. But I was planning to build a bridge right around here coming from my fortress maybe towards this end this way and then have another fortress like at the end of this one so I'm I'd be like owning the the river here the channel going inland I thought that'd be a pretty cool place for like a castle and stuff but who knows um, other updates uh, little things I'm growing flax again just because I was making rope for all those lamps and I've got Celestine here, who was a level three archer to begin with. Uh, I have not had her training at all. I keep hitting escape. So uh, let's let's take a look here. What she got? She got the longbow, and she got stone-tipped arrows. You know, I don't think I have. I probably shouldn't have her train. I don't want to consume any of that. I have 17 stone-tipped arrows, and, oh wait, I have a ton of feathers. Oh. Awesome. Is that from my herder? Does we do get feathers from the chickens? I did not, I was waiting to see that message down here other times, and I have not, had not seen that message yet. Fish eggs. Wheat, 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 wheat. 
All right, at any rate, I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> it would seem that we have plenty of supplies for stone-tipped arrows. So, I mean, we can even go with some some better ones cuz I have quite a lot of I have quite a lot of ingots at this point. Bronze ingot, are there bronze tipped? Yes, there are bronze tipped. I have a lot of bronze. That might be good. But for training, we just want Whoa, 80. Nice. All right, so Train in archery. Oh, you're awful. Yeah, you hit the target. Yeah, excellent. That is a huge improvement. So she seems to be leveling. I assume that's a useful thing. Um, and I am going to go ahead and track stone-tipped arrows because I want to see... I mean, they're going up while they're being crafted here. I, I honestly don't remember. Uh, someone could remind me, I guess, if arrows are lost while training with them. Set to rebuild once broken. Nope. We're gonna we're gonna manage that manually. She can just uh, go down the line there. I've I've read too many stories about engineers getting killed due to poorly trained archers. All right, so now we've got we've got a bit of light around the settlement here. On the three corners, the keep here is nice and lit. Um, there's supposed to be a light over here. Craftable by blacksmith. Blacksmith, what you doing? Oh, that's stonemason. Where's my blacksmith? Taylor. All right, let's Let's find a builder, farmer, blacksmith. What are you doing? Oh, my blacksmith is like stuck. Oh, because, oh, oh because he built that sconce there. Oh, he's apparently, you know what? Let's. You, out of the chair. Deconstruct chair. Ha! Yes, finally! <laughs> I was wondering why he wasn't building stuff. All right, get out there and finish. Finish sconcing. Actually, there's one to build right there. Go ahead. Yeah. Beautiful. Looking good. All right, so um, as as per, I've seen comments. Um, it's actually on Reddit when I had shared a video. Some people saw that um, I'm probably once it gets dark, gets to be pretty, you know, more more nighttime. I'm I'm not gonna keep recording. So here, what else? Lighting. I have one torch left. And that's nighttime. That, hey, you. Okay, he was just stuck. That's everybody sleeping. How's she doing on her training? Oh, good, almost a level. And my arrows are up, up, up. Does not seem to consume arrows to train archers. That is good news. Very good news. Let me see here, how many... Oh, that was all my feathers. All right, great, everybody's using stone-tipped arrows. <laughs> oh, look at that shadowing. Here, let me go actually into the options. Options, and turn on shadows. Hard shadows, soft shadows. Yeah, let's turn that on, why not? See how my frame rate drops. Yeah, cut that frame rate in half. <laughs> but we're doing okay, still. All right, we all these 
Yeah, the, the lights don't create shadows. It's just the sun. Unselect her. Uh, so you can see, like, you know, the shadow from the building and the trees and the wall along this side. But that's all just the sun lighting things up. And this light from up here, I'm seeing what I'm going to call the chunk borders in the water. Interesting. So that's where I'm, my settlement is at at the moment. We've got a mega turret over here on the the primary corner. Uh, some lighting. Uh, a nice keep. Hold on, does that light bleed through? Not much. That's cool. Oh, you. Hey, you. Mr. Miner. Some of these people are not sleeping. Scheduled sleep, yeah. You. Yeah, whatever. Little bugs. I guess I just have to make sure manually that everyone's asleep. That's not nice. Yeah, you guys too. Hey. Yep, she's not asleep either. She stopped working, but she's not asleep. Sleep. Where am I looking? <laughs> Marjorie? Oh, you? Okay. Stonemason. Just look at this pile of people here. Everybody just fall asleep where you are. Quickly, quickly. Archer, you're asleep. Farmer, wood chopper, fisherman. Okay, great. Everybody's asleep now. Let's put the walls back up. Get my tower. Very nice. So that's my settlement for now. I'll go ahead and cut the video off because everybody's asleep and it's a long wait for them to wake up. Even on fast forward, I do it all the time. So thanks everybody for watching and I will have more episodes of Timber and Stone as I progress. I just got my first archer going, so I'm going to start working towards actually kidding up a military to begin our quest to take back the other side of the river. <laughs> so I'll catch you next time.